Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another what eat on my WW personal plan. So today's my only day off. I have to get groceries. I need to clean the house. The Christmas stuff is still up. Like it is January 8th or 9th and I'm like, okay, this needs to come down. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I might film a grocery haul. We will see. I'm still trying to get used to my um, ring light. It's really bothering me and my glasses, but it makes the lighting a little bit better. So please excuse that while I try and, you know, either fix that or find something different. Um, yeah, so if you guys wanna follow me along today and see what I eat, just stay tuned. So this morning I was craving banana bread. Um, I've been waiting for these bananas to go ripe and I think I'm just gonna make it like that. Um, I have this Epicure sweet banana bread mix. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna opt out to using oil and I'm gonna use applesauce instead to keep the points down. So I'm gonna grab my bananas. So. I'm gonna plop the bananas into the bowl. My oven's ready. I could have waited till the bananas were a little bit more ripe, but I'm hungry and I'm craving banana bread, so. I'm gonna smash this with my um, handy little Epicure tool here. I use this thing for everything, mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflowers, um, obviously this and like ground beef, it's awesome. So I'm just gonna mash all this together. I'm gonna whisk in one egg. So I made a mistake, it's two eggs. So I'm adding another egg. Apparently I can't read. So I'm gonna add in my applesauce. Um, I think next time I might try the oil just to see kind of the difference in taste, but I'm trying to save a little bit of points. Um, this is just plain and unsweetened applesauce. We're gonna add in our banana bread mix. So I don't know the exact points on this yet, but I will calculate it and then let you guys know. I'm just gonna use my whisk a little bit just to get all this incorporated. It literally took me no time at all to make and it smells so good. I just love the convenience of Epicure stuff. Um, and then of course, clean ingredients, low sodium, low sugar and gluten free. I'm gonna grab this little spatula thing here that's, I just love this thing, but I'm gonna grab the edges, make sure everything is in there. And then I'm just gonna spray a little bit of paper towel with some um, olive oil spray and just give this a little bit of a dab here. And my handy dandy little scooper, I love this thing, it's a godsend. Um, this is a two tablespoon portion and it just like literally just portions everything out for me and I just love it. I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons in each and then if I need to add a little bit more, I will. This makes a whole loaf, so I feel like um, it's gonna make more than, more than I have room for, but that's okay. I used this the other day to make crab cakes um, the scooper and I feel like it works a little bit better when stuff is more solid, but I mean it works still really good for this as well. I also have the quarter cup one. Maybe I, I was gonna use that one, but I feel like it might have been too full. So I will go back around. Hopefully this is not too full because I feel like it's gonna, it might bake over but we'll see. So I probably could have used a quarter one because I'm pretty sure two ta four tablespoons is a quarter cup, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wiggle them around a bit. And then to about half of them, I'm gonna add in six uh, Lily's milk chocolate chips. Those are zero points for six of them. The reason why I'm gonna do half, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave a couple that don't have them. I wanna try the muffins without the chocolate chips. So we'll see. Okay, with those ones, I'm probably just gonna go in and try to put the chocolate chips inside a bit. I just was wanting to be able to control how many chocolate chips were in my muffins, so, or else I would've just added them to the butter. The butter, the batter. That's good enough for me. So I'm gonna pop these into the oven um, 
They are going to stay in at, a, I think it's 375, yeah, 375 um, for 15 to 18 minutes, and then you cool them in the pan for 10 minutes. So we'll see you guys when those are done. Hey guys, I am sitting down to try my banana muffins. These turn out to two points for one. If you have two, it's five, which that's not bad at all. They turned out pretty big. I thought they'd be like three or four points, so that's awesome. This one has the um, chocolate chips in it, but like, look how moist that looks. I do usually use like the protein pancake mix to make banana muffins and stuff, but it's nice to like um, switch it up a bit. So let's try this. Mmm. So good. It's more muffiny than like a protein pancake muffin, if you know what I mean. Um, Next time I might add a little bit more chocolate chips just because they the um, muffins turned out bigger um, and they might need just a little bit more chocolate chip but the batter itself like or the muffin alone without the chocolate chips tastes really good. I will say this because Epicure is more like sugar conscience, Consci how do you say that word? Conscience? I don't know. You know what I mean? Because they are trying to use less sugar, it is not as sweet as a muffin. I'll tell you that, like a, a regular banana muffin. But for me, it's perfect because the points are cut back a lot. I feel like if I used the oil, it would even be better. But like for me, the applesauce almost adds a little bit more flavor. So um, if you like your muffins a little bit more on the sugarier side, um, I would add a little bit more sugar or just add like regular chocolate chips, but like I will be ordering this again because for me, for two points, this is awesome. Another thing, I'll probably add a little bit more banana next time, but the flavor is definitely there and the texture is there. Like the texture of a muffin that I'm looking for is there, so that's I kind of wish that they were two for four points, but that's okay. Um, I feel like this will be really good like air fried and then like with some vanilla ice cream, so. That might be a dessert later this week. You could also add walnuts or whatever, but for like a, a lower fat, lower sugar, lower sodium muffin, this is really good. But I'm gonna eat my muffin. I need to do my fridge. It is horrendous and I need to take down all my Christmas stuff and I need to go grocery shopping. So I have a quite a busy day ahead. I didn't really think I did, but anyways, we will see you guys back later. So I've been working all day on cleaning my house and it's one o'clock, so I thought I'd stop and eat some lunch. Um, I have 19 of the chicken cilantro wontons. I get these at uh, Costco in Canada. Um, I have enough points, so I'm doing 19 for eight points, and then zero points for the liquid aminos by Briggs. And then I'm just gonna have this sparkling ice in lemonade. Um, I need groceries. This is what I have in the freezer, so I'm gonna eat this. And then I think dinner time might be a little bit bigger, or I might have like a bagel and tomato. We'll see, but this is what I'm having for lunch. 10 points total. Um, I'm gonna eat this, clean up a bit more, and then I'll head down for some groceries, and then we'll see you guys back later. I got back from grocery shopping. I was gonna do a separate video, but I don't have enough to make a whole video for my grocery haul, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I got my Good Thins. These are my favorite. Uh, these have been really hard to find in town, so I've actually started ordering them on Amazon, um, like five at a time, and they are cheaper. Like they're three forty nine in um, in store. You can get them on sale sometimes for a dollar ninety nine, but like I said, I can hardly find them ever. So um, pick that up. I need to buy more off Amazon. They're like two dollars and fifty cents. So I'll probably buy like ten of them just in case because these are my favorite. Um, I just got some of these naturally imperfect, no, naturally imperfect um, peppers. They were like $6.99. Guys, vegetables and fruit are so expensive. Um, I got some variety pack tomatoes. Those were $6.99 or $5.99. And then we got some turkey bacon because I cannot find the Lilydale um, turkey breakfast sausages anywhere. We got some light double cheddar cheese, um, some everything bagels. I was talking about these in my video the other day. These are only six points and they're fairly big. Um, and then there's another kind that I like by them, but I can't remember, but six points is awesome for a bagel. We have some eggs, we have some cucumbers, some vegetable melody mix for some hummus. Um, those are gonna go with all the other vegetables as well. I got some snap peas some bananas and then over here I just got like a big thing of fruit just to have on hand. I know it's more, it costs more to buy it like this but I really don't care, they're chopped up so it's perfect for me. And then 
over here. So there's this app called Flash Food um, in Canada or Superstore. Um, they, like this was $5 and I actually took like quarter of it out and gave some to my mom. What they do is just take produce that's gonna go bad and they sell it for really cheap. So like I said, $5. This one here is a nectarine, it looks pretty banged up. So honestly for the price, it's awesome. I only end up throwing maybe two items away. Um, obviously like the nectarine I'm probably gonna throw away. But um, for $5, you can't beat that price. So I wanted to quickly show you guys, I used to buy these all the time and I couldn't find them for the life of me, but I found them at Save On Foods. Um, they are the Whipped Philadelphia uh, Roasted Red Pepper. This one is the original, which I could find at Superstore. And then this one is our favorite. It is the whipped chive. I'm gonna be making some uh, chive pinwheels this week. So I'm having dinner. Unfortunately, I kind of screwed up my eggs. That's okay. Um, for some reason, they just like broke apart when I was trying to flip them. So two eggs, zero points on my plan. I have two of the McCain's um, waffle hash browns for five points. And then I have some jalapenos, like pickled jalapenos with my eggs. It's delicious, I've been loving that lately. And then on top of my eggs, I put the cheese chives bacon dip mix by Epicure. I choose to um, count zero points for that because I hardly put any on. I've always counted zero. If I used like way more, I would count the points. But anyways, that gives it so much flavor. And then over here I have some air fried turkey bacon, which I kind of over air fried. Three of them is only two points. I feel like I just failed dinner tonight, but it's still gonna taste good nonetheless. And then I'm gonna add some of the sugar-free ketchup by uh, President's Choice. I get that at Superstore in Canada. So this is a seven point dinner to bring me to 17 points for the day. I have a lot of points left for snack, so I cannot wait. I'm probably gonna have like some antipasto, some um, veggies and some dill pickle hummus. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll see you guys back for snack time. Okay guys, I am making my snack. Uh, I decided tonight to have have like a snack plate so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna have a whole pepper I'm just gonna take that out of there I need some new cutting boards uh, these seem to be sliding they do have grips underneath but it just really bothers me when I'm cutting things to add some cucumber um, with me I love snacks so I make sure that I keep at least six points for my snack at the end of the day. Um, that's just re really helped me through my journey. Um, I'm not too sure why, but having those extra points at the end of the day, just to, you know, have something that I really, really enjoy, um, just really helps. So I'm gonna use all of them tonight. Add some cherry tomatoes. I love this mix from Superstore. Although these ones don't look very good, but um, just different kinds of Cherry tomatoes, really good. Um, of course, we're gonna use some dill pickle hummus. I'm gonna try out my little scooper here um, to see if that works with this. I'm gonna have four tablespoons and four tablespoons is only three points. I could have had three tablespoons for three points, but this is so good that I just need to have four. So I'm gonna do two of these because this is two tablespoons. This is a little bit of a mess here, but this actually works pretty good for that. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to have 40 of these, um, which is three points. Okay, my ring light died, so I had to like plug it in, so I needed to switch everything around. But anyways, I'm gonna go wash this. I'm just gonna use it for my antipasto so I don't um, dirty another measuring thingy, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna put my antipasto in this little um, bowl here so it doesn't get everywhere and I'm just using this save on foods brand usually we make antipasto but we've been so busy that we just can't get together with my mom and um, and make it so six tablespoons so three of these here's my snack plate two tablespoons of hummus for three points there is six tablespoons of antipasto for two points 40 good thins for three points so that's eight points total. I probably have about two cups worth of veggies in this plate, so that would technically be six because I'm gaining two points, but I'm trying to not eat those points again this week. But anyways, eight points, technically six with gaining back those veggies. Um, this will put me at 25 out of 26 points. Um, I'm gonna go watch my show and enjoy this. I cannot wait 
this dill pickle hummus is so good and I've been craving antipasto. I'm also gonna have a jug of water, so we will see you guys when I'm all done. All right guys, I wanted to check in with you. Um, I wanted to also let you know that I had some fruit. Um, I ended up having that nectarine that was in that um, produce box that I bought from Superstore. Um, it was gonna go bad, so I just cut off the pieces that weren't edible and ate that. And then I had like a fruit bowl with uh, the fruit that I bought. I had some pineapple, some cantaloupe, some honeydew, and some watermelon. So I'm ending the day at 25 out of 26 points. Technically I'd be at 23 points because of the veggies um, that I earned back for points. I was not very good with water today, but that's okay. Um, I had a really good day otherwise. I hope you guys enjoyed this longer video. I thought I would, you know, incorporate a little bit more into my what eat in a days. And I know a lot of people like when I do like the cooking aspect. So I figured I would just throw that in today. Another thing I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in um, is my little Epicure business kit is going to be coming in shortly here. And I had some people saying that they would like to see an unboxing and just kind of see what I'm getting and that. Um, so if you guys want to see that, let me know down below. I'm always looking for something new to film um, and I don't know if you'd be interested in that, but I figured I'd ask. I know that a lot of people do enjoy like when I do the cook with me's and you know, my favorite products and stuff. Um, like my favorite snacks and I'm just trying to find more things to film. Let me know down below if you'd like to see an unboxing um, as well as what other videos you'd like to see because I know I do a lot of what eat in a days, but that's just like my go-to. I'm gonna so. end the video here. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and as always let me know down below how your weeks have been and how your day went. Um, it's always really motivating just to see how everybody's doing on their journeys and we can support each other. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.